Hey everyone, this is Scott from Excel Express, and today we're going to learn how to replicate the vertical mega menu demo. So to create this, go back to your backend. To create the mega menu, please go to Appearance and Menus. You may already have uh, menus created in your site, so I'm just going to start with a new menu. I'm just going to call this menu Vertical Menu. I'm going to create it and I'm going to assign it a menu location. I created this vertical menu location in in my previous video which you can watch over here and I'm going to save. Once you assign a theme location, you'll see that the mega menu settings are seen. Click to enable this. Uh, we're going to create a vertical menu. I want it to be on the left side. Uh, hover is fine. Transition fade is fine. Uh, I'm going to choose one of the available skins and I'm going to choose let's say gold yellow black, with black and I'm going to save it. I'm going to save this menu again. So we are going to uh, so let's look at the demo and see what we have in the beginning. First we have this home page and this three column and an image. So let's check how to do this. So I'm going to go to pages, see if I have a home page. So yeah, I have a home page. Doesn't matter what page you choose. I'm just this is only to show how to create the layout. So once I've added a menu, I need to save the and I'll see this WP Mega menu over here. Let me add some sub menus. So I'm just gonna add a couple of menus over here and I'm gonna create a sub menu. Similarly, let me add some more pages over here. Say I'm gonna make this in the same level and make this a sub menu of contact us. So you can see the hierarchy over here. The home page menu has two children, and these children have their own sub labels. So I'm going to save it. To create a vertical menu, your theme should support the vertical menu, or you can use the shortcode provided by the plugin to add the shortcode into uh, any location, such as your post or your sidebar. So for simplicity, I'm just going to use the shortcode and add it to my post. For this, I'll go to my WP Mega menu and I'll go to General Settings. So here I have a tab called Shortcodes. So I'm going to just click on it. I'm going to choose a menu location. Uh, for me, it would be a vertical menu. And you can see that a shortcode is generated. I'm just going to copy it. Uh, I'm going to assign it to a post. So I'm just going to create a new post. Let's say vertical menu demo. And I'm going to paste the shortcode here and publish it. So if I preview this page, uh, I have a base for the vertical menu. So by default, the menus are set to a flyout menu. So you can see that I have a flyout menu here. To change it into a mega menu, I'll go back to my menu settings. Click on this WP Mega Menu. Choose Mega Menu. Go to General Settings. Uh, click to check that the menus are active. Save the setting. And check my demo. So, uh, you can see that I have my mega menu, but you, you see that uh, it is one below the other and not side by side like in the demo. To fix this, I'll go back to the mega menu. I'll go to my parent menu. And here I have the option to choose columns. So I'm just going to use two columns, maybe three because I have to add an image. And I'm going to close it and I'll go back to my demo. 
and you will see that these are aligned side by side. Now to add an image like in the demo, I'll go back to my menus, add a custom link. Let's say this image could represent any ads or anything that promotes your site. So I'm just gonna call it image and click on add new. I need to make sure that the image is in the same level as contact us and my account. I need to save in order to get the mega menu options. Go back and click on image. So to create an image, please go to custom settings. Here you need to ch check on use custom settings. Then select a custom image. Uh, go to your media library and select one of the images. Let's say this one. Just gonna copy it. Go back to my menu, paste it here. And here in image position, I'm just gonna choose only image. Uh, on the sub menu settings, I'm gonna check on disable menu text and save changes. Let's check the demo. And you can see I have a three columns over here with my account, contact us, and an image. So let's look at our demo and see what's remaining. So we have three columns and an image. It's also okay. I think you get the concept of how to build this. So here you can see there's an icon over here. So let's check how to put this icon. So I'll go back to my menus. I'll go to home page full width. Here I have an icon settings. I'm gonna choose an icon. I'm gonna search for it. So home, here's my home icon. I'm gonna save it. Then go to my general settings and show menu icons. I'm gonna just click to enable it and save changes. So if you look at our demo, our icon should be present. So here we have our icon and our menu. So that's it for today. On the next video, we'll learn how to create this section with your Instagram, your video and a text widget. Thank you.